my bedroom as you can see that this is where I don't want to sleep with all the damp I hate it like just lying here like lying in the with the damp Last year I was diagnosed with lung cancer, brain, liver. Last week I was diagnosed with uh, on my bladder um, and half my lungs collapsed now. Obviously with the damp, I can't wash it off and keep it, you know, under control, yeah. condition oh my god and our and the um, lady's health um, situation the uh, cancer and so on that she has oh my days no one should have to live in this way nobody at all no matter what nobody should have to live in this live like this in this condition can you imagine and she has health issues as well I, I saw this video, I saw the video at the beginning and I saw like, I saw different tweets earlier as well, different people's comments because I was wondering like, whose fault is this, like, somebody has to be responsible for this, someone has to fix this, someone, like, I, oh my days, so what I saw people are saying that the, the Tories, the Tories, the Tories, the Tories, the Tories, she's the, the political the political group uh, parties in the UK said Tories, 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 and saying that the Tories voted against adequate living for people. I was thinking to myself, how is that possible? Like, how does that work? How like, how can you vote against people just living like normal, decent? Imagine, it's so sad. Because all these people that are in charge or doing all these um, policies and so on, they have so much money, they enjoying our taxpayers' money and so on. And they can afford to have big houses, afford to have like nice spaces and so on. But people that will suffer, people that cannot afford anything, they have to rely on the government. So it's just these people that are relying on government. Those are the people that will suffer the most. Like. Fair enough, you have some people that might take advantage of the system and find a way around it. But the majority of people are going to suffer. I mean, people living like, like this. She's not the first person, like, and she's not the last, and she's not the only person. I'm telling you, because I even made a video, a previous video, similar, of a, of a black lady living in that type of condition. And now we have this one now. It's just. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like, despite her condition, despite her condition, I don't understand. Like, who is responsible? Like, why? Why is something not being done? That's the thing. Why is something not being done? Because if I was a landlord, I'm not gonna allow like let my tenant live in such place. Because you have to put yourself, put yourself in their shoes. 
put yourself in the shoes or put yourself or just say that imagine that's your family that's your that's that's your mom that's your sister that's your auntie that's your this oh my days are you gonna allow them to live in such a place like someone is supposed to do something to that like, to help like someone needs to do something i don't know what you do to fix the mold or something or you fix something you just make sure that it's not happening you need to sort it out you need to do something about it like this is not like it, we're not mad that it's happening we're just mad that something is not being done because there was a problem but it needs a solution and you can't just leave someone to live in that way and just feel, and just be like oh this is what the government said or the government voted against just forget about what the government said or what the government voted for whatever whatever you as a human being you are you are a landlord and even because in, in terms of say um government housing they still have landlords though because it's not the it's not the land it's not the government as a landlord i'm sure but even if it's the government as a landlord there's someone still like in charge someone still in charge that is that it's that's on the lower chain closer to the tenants you come to the house even those people that manage the house like the housing officer or as a manager you come to the house you see the condition you need to speak you need to they need to do something about it it's so upsetting like saying stuff like, like this man but anyway you guys comment down what you think or comment down your, your thoughts your opinions and so on because this is just insane just insane for someone to live in like 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 this you yourself can you afford can, can you can you manage to live in that condition because me i cannot <laughs> oh my god no no comment your thoughts though like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video peace and love